but just your overall thoughts on tonight's performance? I thought it was a solid, uh, solid team effort um, from all three phases. And uh, I think one of the things that sometimes goes Blake Cusick and what he does, you know, to be able to punt the ball down in there and get him inside the 10 probably, I don't know, three times in the first half, I thought was big. Um, we had the advantage of field position pretty much all night. And, um, you know, that's a big deal because when offenses get backed up inside the territory like that, the playbook shrinks a little bit, you're a little bit more conservative and uh, really went in trying to stop the run. And I thought our guys did a really good job of that. And, um, and then the offense put some drive together. Uh, shot ourselves in the foot a couple times with the offensive pass interference. It put us behind schedule. Uh, we fumbled the ball on a read play once and recovered it, but that again put us behind schedule. And, uh, but I thought we played uh, very efficient in all three phases of the game. And uh, didn't turn the football over, which is, you know, anytime you can win the turnover battle, we have a much better chance to win a football game. Seems like there's a lot of teams if they get down to the 40 and don't score, it can be troublesome. But you guys seem to be able to pin opponents when those occurrences happen, and uh, defense takes advantage. And it just seems like it keeps going until the offense scores. Does that change your play calling, knowing that your defense has been that solid put in those situations? Not really. You know, it. Uh, I thought on third down we were still aggressive tonight. Um, I thought Kalen did a really nice job of calling the game and keeping them off balance, that's a really solid defense. I mean, that's one of the best defenses in our conference. And so we knew it was going to be an uphill battle to run, run the ball against them. Uh, but for the most part, I don't think we got sacked tonight. I, I don't remember us getting sacked. So I thought, now Marcus got pressured a few times where he had to get rid of the ball early, caused some errant throws. Uh, but um, for the most part, against that quality defense with four all-conference players on it, um, I was happy that we were able to sustained some drives. I think we only had the ball five times in the first half and scored on two of them. Um, and then in the, in the second half, it felt like we were moving the ball pretty well, put some drives together and capitalized. Uh, some personnel changes on the O-line. Uh, what went into those decisions and what did you think about the tape before? Well, I have to see the tape, but um, you know, it's, it's nice to have the flexibility uh, to move guys around. And um, we felt like going into the game that 93 was a little bit of a mismatch and we needed to have a bigger body on him. And so that's why we put Micah there. Uh, but in a week's time for Marcus to move inside, um, you know, because he's fairly new, you know, I mean, this is his first year starting. Um, for him to come in there and the one thing that, you know, you really sometimes take for granted are the snaps as much as we're in shotgun. And, um, well, they weren't perfect all night long. You know, our quarterback was able to handle them. Um, but I thought he did a good job of identifying the front and getting us in the right uh, blocking schemes for the most part. And what can you say about your defense after two games, six points? Have you seen that from one of your defenses before? Well, yeah, they're, they're playing well. You know, they're playing well. We haven't given up really, I don't think there was a big play. I think they threw a post on us one time. and. I don't know what it was, maybe an 18-yard gain or something like that. But um, besides that, I think we're doing a good job of keeping everything in front of us, rallying to the football, running to the football, and tackling really well because that's that's an excellent running back. Uh, he makes a lot of guys miss. Uh, but it's like Juju talked about, you know, he, uh, not just with the turnover circuit, but the tackling circuit that we do every single day really pays dividends to our guys because they think they, they believe in it, they trust it, and they really execute it well. And you're eight and one so far here in Bulldog Stadium since coming back. So what does it mean to you with the goals that you had when you came here to put up that kind of record so far? Well, you know, I don't really look at the big picture and reflect like that. You know, it's it's one game, and um, you know, obviously we're happy uh, to get another win in conference play. Um, but you know, we'll just like we do always on on Sunday, uh, we'll review the tape. There's a lot of things we can improve on. And uh, we'll take the confidence from the things we did well, and, and we'll take the things that we can improve on, and, and we'll work on that next week. Any more questions? Your tight ends were very productive today. I think that was that one drive where all three of them had plays and 
number 88 scored the touchdown. Specifically, Jared Rice, I mean, what him, him being a downfield threat over the middle of the field, what, what does that give you guys on offense that you know, without him you don't have? Yeah, he's a, he's a matchup issue, you know, because he can run so well, but he's not a one-dimensional guy, and that's what's great about him. You can have him in there on every down when you're running the football. You know, you, it would be different if you jog him out there every time you're going to throw the ball, but he's efficient in the run game. Uh, he's a technician. He's not, you know, he's not 250 pounds, you know, but he's technically sound and very efficient in what he does with the run game, understands exactly what we're doing. You know, on the first touchdown, um, he had great savvy on what to do because we're supposed to get to the opposite hash, and he saw they were too deep, and he stayed straight up the middle. And uh, so that's that's great understanding of somebody knowing what's going on. Uh, but he's he's a big target. He's very athletic. Uh, Marcus hit him on a, on a back shoulder throw. He flipped his hips and made a great catch. Um, unfortunately, on the offensive pass interference, uh, he made another great catch on that. But, uh, you know, he's a weapon, and then to get Cam involved a little bit, you know, I think Cam caught a ball and, and uh, tried his best to get in the end zone for sure. He didn't quite make it. But he's got to secure the football because that very easy could have bounced out of the end zone. So that's a great learning opportunity. I love the effort, but we have to be smart with the ball. Do you, do you sometimes have to encourage Marcus to keep the ball on the read options? Tonight it looked like early there was a couple of times where he handed it off and Maybe he had a little room, but then later in the game, I mean, he had a couple incredible fakes where, you know, I had thought that the running back had the ball and he was running with it, and of course we saw him score. Yeah. Right there. Is that, do you encourage him to do that? Something you have to tell him every so often? No, he, he just has, we have to trust. Uh, he's the one playing. And, you know, sometimes there's a technique called a surf technique where a defensive end is not necessarily really going. You know, but he's kind of playing soft a little bit, you know, and and so then that that's a hand read, you know, you hand those off. And but later on in the game, we got in a couple formations where uh, we got the defensive end to get inside and really pinch hard, and then he did a really nice job of reading it. And, um, he faked us out one time too because we were saying he should have kept that and he had it. He'd run around the edge, you know, so um, he, he fooled us as well. But uh, you just have to trust. His instincts and what he does, you know, it's uh, you're not going to be a hundred percent on that. You could always kind of say, hey, maybe you could have kept it, but he's the one who is looking at it and sees that guy's body language and what he should do, and so we trust that he's going to make good decisions. Um, the running game, Wyoming has a very good defense, very good defensive line, so I mean, it was going to be tough sledding in there. Is that an area that you have to improve upon? Do you think, or can your offense just keep kind of doing what you're doing in those quick passes and to be a running game. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if they're going to stack the box and they're going to, you know, that, that was a, that's a tough defense. You know, last year when we went and played them there, it was really tough sledding to run the football. We knew it would be again, you know, and um, I don't know how many yards we had rushing over 100 yards, something like that. I don't even know. 104. Huh? 104. 104. Um, but everyone is involved in the run game. You know, even Marcus Pullen, that's part of the run game. You know, if they're going to take one part of the way, you have to split the other part. Uh, but, um, no, I, I felt like there was a couple times. I thought we mixed it up more throwing the football, you know, instead of beating our head against the wall, trying to mash it up in there a lot, which I thought maybe we did that a little bit last week, was we kept thinking, okay, we're going to crease one here, and we never did. Um, you know, so I thought we did a really nice job of, there's a lot of times too where there's one place called we're spitting it out to the to the guys on bubble screens or certain things like that because they're overly aggressive in the box, you know. And so that's part of the read play too. Part of the read can be a quarterback keeping it or pulling it and throwing. It. And I thought we made some positive yards on those on those uh, concepts as well. That little misdirection screens or rivers that went for a pretty good chip. Was that one of those plays like that, or was that a no? That was a design play. screen. Yeah, that's a design screen. And then lastly, Tank Kelly, he kind of got shook up there at the end. We'll, no, he's that. fine. He's good. Yeah, I, you know, I was a little concerned because I saw him laying face down and uh, didn't see him moving. I was, I was a little concerned, but uh, he's, he's fine. There was nothing, nothing there at all. It was just kind of a, a muscle cramp up in his, up in his neck, um, 
we dropped his head a little bit in tackling, and those are lessons that we talk about all the time. We make sure we keep our head up. So thank God that it turned out fine. All right, thank you, Coach. Oh, we got some more. Coach, how did you guys run the Cleveland? Um, this halfway through the season, uh, what's one thing that the team still needs to improve? That's funny you ask that question. It seems like that question gets asked every time. There's not just one thing, there's everything. You know, everything we need to improve on. You know, there's no such thing as a perfect game. And so, collectively, uh, we need to improve in, in certain aspects. And individually, there's going to be things we need to improve on. And so, each week it's a different challenge, you know. And so, um, you can take from last week and say this was a whole different week. And I'm sure we'll take some things off of this game and say, we could have improved there. But next week, we don't play the same team. You know, we play a whole different philosophy, you know. And so each week is a learning experience, and we just need to keep grinding on our fundamentals and make sure that uh, we're executing what we what we practice. And for the most part, I think we do a pretty, we've done a decent job of that, but it, it goes week to week. You know, we're halfway through the season. Uh, but each week, we're going to get other teams a game. We're going to get their best game, their best shot, you know, and it won't be any different next week in the next game. Um, one last question. Uh, do you feel like maybe you'll get more votes this time than last week? From more the what? Polls? More what? From the po votes. From the polls. Oh, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't pay too much attention to that. You know, I mean, it's, I don't know who sees this. I don't know, you know, it's, those things will come if they come, you know, but that's not, that's not what our, Really, it only matters where we are at the end of the year. It doesn't matter week to week, you know. And um, we have one more game next week, and we'll take and we'll focus on that. And you know, we just hope at the end of the year uh, that we can play play well enough to be to be relevant in conversations for certain things. But right now, that really doesn't mean anything to us. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. Thank you.